can I give you two prayer points before you sit shout it loud and clear say father, father. one more time say father, father in the name of Jesus I rebuke the spirit of untimely death open your mouth and begin to pray I will tell you why I'm leading you to pray this prayer please open your mouth and pray that in the name of Jesus the spirit of untimely death over your life your family come against it in the name of Jesus is someone praying the spirit of untimely death I shall not die but live and declare my my children will not die in the name of Jesus the fullness of our days we will fulfill someone open your mouth and pray pray Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of death, either by sickness, by infirmities, accidents, the activities of wicked men. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, preserved by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'll give you the second one. I saw this in a vision while I was praying, preparing for this meeting. I saw a family mourning. Now, I, I didn't know the family. didn't look like a family belonging to this ministry. But I saw them mourning. And what happened is like someone was going to the market and a vehicle just crossed them and the person died instantly. When God shows these things, it doesn't mean it should happen. We should allow it and say, I saw it. I've told you, dominion is not allowing evil to happen. It is stopping it by the authority of God's word. Number two, there are people who your joy always turns to sorrow. Please listen to me. Any good thing that comes into your hand or your life is always short-lived. Whether relationships, whether a job, there is no longevity of joy in your life. The moment something arrives, I want you to listen to me. There are spirits that have been assigned to cut short the joys of men. That just as soon as good things happen in your life, there's no room to rejoice. This can be true whether maritally, whether financially, whether ministerially. Please shout this from the depth of your heart. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit that turns joy to sorrow the Lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray declare this over your destiny declare this over your ministry declare this over your business longevity of joy fullness of joy is my portion in the name of Jesus the son of the living God he that told you have asked for nothing the Bible says, ask and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Ask and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Nothing will cut short your joy. Prophesy to yourself. Prophesy over your children. Prophesy over your business, your ministry, your faith work. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says you have turned my morning into dancing. Is that in your Bible? It says, and you have turned my sorrow to joy. Let me prophesy over your life. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, everything that looks like sorrow, parakatoshkadiata, around any life, any family, any business, any ministry, by the power of the prophetic, let sorrow be turned to joy now. Let sorrow be turned to joy now. Let sorrow be turned to joy now. Let sorrow be turned to joy now.
if you have any family member in the hospital or any family member struggling with any kind of sickness or anyone having all kinds of dreams dreams of dead people people who have gone there is no business between the living and the dead whether it is for you or your loved ones right now in the name of jesus i separate the barrier connecting you and the dead i i cut short that that barrier in the name of jesus christ whatever link between you and the dead you go to bed and you are happy. you some of you even see your own funeral while you are alive he said what fellowship has in the name of jesus christ you will not die you will not die you will not die i speak life to your spirit in the name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus Christ can I give you a minute to ask the Lord for one thing you want him to do tonight in your life please open your mouth I release my faith with you cry unto the God of heaven what one thing do you want him to do tonight the Lord is about to bring his word but cry the house of God is a place where we lift up petitions before the God of heaven he said he that told you have asked for nothing ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Don't let the devil lie to you that God cannot do it. Don't let the devil lie to you. This is a place of faith. You're operating under the corporate anointing. He said, ye ask not, ye have not, because ye ask not. For in Jesus' name we pray. And Hannah went before the Lord, and she went to the temple at Shiloh and cried. And when Eli saw her, he began to be aggressive towards her thinking she was drunk and he thought she just came to desecrate the altar and she said no my lord this is a woman who is venting out her sorrow and eli spoke to her like eli spoke to anna i declare that every petition you have raised before the lord let it return to you as answers for in jesus name we pray